Hey guys, coming here with a video for those that have a BMW E46 and your car was involved in an accident and now the car won't start. So let me show you what happens. There you go, airbags deployed. Alright, took this airbag out. When you turn the key switch, you got full power. But when you go ahead and crank it, all you hear is a click. It's a click. I'll show it again. All you get is a click. And your problem's gonna be in your battery compartment. There's this cable back there it has a, a safety feature that anytime there is an airbag deployment, such as these right here, uh, that fuse itself also burns up. Now the cable itself is $500, so I'm going to teach you a way to pass that uh, uh, temporary fix just to get your car moving. So let's go back there. So here's what I'm talking about. This black box, if you look at this cable, you can wiggle it back and forth. Now looking in there, you see all that movement. That means this is no longer making contact with this base of the, on the terminal. Oh, let me take it apart, that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now to remove your terminal, you'll grab a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Get it loose. And take it out. Now as you can see, you can't really scoot it. Too it won't let you scoot it forward it's just because there's a tab here and a tab there. Now you could break these off if you wanted to. Now if you'll see, now it makes contact with it. So let's take apart this so we can see inside. Now to take this apart, all you do is just grab a small screwdriver and push these tabs in, like so. You'll see this coming apart. two halves and here's what I'm talking about this is supposed to slide in there to make contact now the way we're going to be fixing this is going to be we're going to be doing a screw hole here just to hold this temporarily in place and grab a, a punch and a hammer I'm just going to tap Tap it on top. There we go. You can see the indention right there. Now, before you start drilling, make sure you have these screws. That will at least you know what type of hole you're going to drill. Now, here's what I did. I took off this uh, retaining screw or brace for the brace, and I just got a longer bolt. Terminal underneath it just to clamp it down. So there you go. Now it's securing this in place just so it won't walk around while you're trying to drill it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tap this hole so I can thread it into the screw. So change your plans. I'm just going to get a screw that has a pointy end. That way it engages into the, the terminal itself. So the other one wasn't engaging properly. At least it wasn't keeping it in there. Just going to go with that. There you go. 
to know now. Now it's just a matter of putting all everything back. Okay, so there you go. Now you have it all back together. Now let's find out if it's gonna turn on. Going back inside the car. Let's go ahead and stick the key in. And there you go. It's starting. So I've gone ahead and put everything back. As you can see, the plastic cover is back on here. I just cut it off. Got a little cut out right here, so that the screw itself wouldn't foul up against the plastic. Oh, but I want you to remember, this is meant to cut out power right, to your engine right. in the event that it isn't a crash. So, run this at your own risk. And thanks for watching.